after our original investigation aired, we've heard from numerous current and former employees. The stories they've told us paint the same picture of rampant corruption inside the Middlesex Sheriff's Office, where promotions were bought and paid for with cash bribes delivered in hundreds, even thousands of dollars at a time. Investigators from the Attorney General's Office are probing those same allegations, an investigation that could result in criminal charges. I've been to four or five parties. I've seen the money counted, 2,100 at one case, 2,300 at another, and hand it to the sheriff and then put it in his top left-hand pocket and then smoke a cigar like it was normal business. This Middlesex Sheriff's Department employee is one of nearly a dozen people who spoke with Fox Undercover about corruption inside the department. All asked to remain anonymous for fear of retribution, but told the same story. I could go to someone's house and put a party together There'd be 20, 30, 40 people there. Everybody would give cash. On a few occasions, that included himself. How much money did you give? I, I think I gave up to $600 in cash. Others say they gave much, much more. One former employee said in an off-camera interview that he personally handed Sheriff DePaula an envelope with $2,000 in cash, raised at a party in a bar in Lowell. More often, money was raised at the homes of employees at events known as cash parties. I was invited to many cash parties. Um, you know, we're having a cash party for the sheriff. Do you want to come? It was the same story from these two former Middlesex Sheriff's Department employees. You were asked to give money? Absolutely. Yes, I was told yes. Two of my associates, who I do consider friends, they both told me they gave them over $3,000 in their kitchen. Cash? Uh, cash. They're now ranking officers at the department. What types of criminal charges could we be talking about? Any of the corruption charges. There could be bribery charges. There could be uh, conflict charges. There could be, uh, I guess, some th theoretically larceny charges. Steve Huggard ran the U.S. Attorney's Public Corruption Unit in Boston for four years before leaving for private practice. We asked him what investigators might be looking for. I think they want to uh, make sure that people who hold positions of trust have been held accountable if they need to be held accountable. And they want to make sure that no one gets away with something that they shouldn't have gotten away with. How do investigators proceed in a case like this? You've got to try to corroborate what's being said. And so uh, if what we're talking about here is envelopes of cash, that's very difficult to corroborate. As for the late sheriff himself, he denied any wrongdoing in an interview with Fox 25 one week before he committed suicide. Do you pocket cash campaign donations for your own personal use? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, I have no idea what would motivate someone to say that. Do employees have to give you cash donations to stay in your good graces? Not at all. DePaula was responding in part to allegations made by this former high-ranking employee, interviewed earlier by Fox Undercover. As an employee, I saw numerous people uh, that were in management-level positions, giving cash, um, giving him envelopes with cash in them, uh, giving him birthday cards with cash in them. The former employee made the same claims under oath saying in a deposition how difficult it was having to go to fundraisers and give cash. His story was part of the first Fox Undercover report about the Sheriff's Department. The same day our story aired, the Boston Globe exposed the Sheriff's attempt to collect a pension and a salary at the same time. And DePaula made the shocking announcement he was resigning. The same month, he won re-election. Our story prompted the Attorney General's office to launch an investigation. The following Saturday, DePaula was found in a main hotel room, dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. The Attorney General's office says it's still pursuing its investigation. Even if the case is corroborated and others in the department are charged, Huggard says DePaula's death complicates the case. No matter what case you put together, the defense is probably going to want to point the finger at the empty chair and, and say that it was that person's fault. So the overlay of the tragedy here complicates the case for a prosecutor tremendously. Huggard says the AG's investigation could also result in some kind of administrative action, including removing employees from their jobs if they paid for promotions. A spokesman for the Middlesex Sheriff's Office did not respond to our requests to talk about this story. The Attorney General's Office declined to comment on its investigation, as did a spokesperson for Governor Patrick. He's expected to name a replacement for DePaula as soon as this week. Do you have an idea for a Fox Undercover investigation? Call us at 1-800-TV-FOX-25. I'm Mike Bodette for Fox Undercover.